The boss has a request for you. Not a message, but a request? A Whitehorn Dragon has been showing up in the Aldina Plains. The boss wants you to kill it. Since when did the Bloodwings become agents of justice? Interested in protecting the world from dragons? Hey, we're not out to save the world. This is just to put an end to Zavid's madness. Did Zavid do something in particular? He's been harassing exorcists, trying to get more information on that dragon. That's got the Abbey on alert, which makes trouble for us. Our spies in the Abbey can't operate under these conditions. And that's where we come in. Does that mean Zavid is in the Aldina Plains too? Got it in one. Just be careful. Zavid and that dragon are even more agitated than usual. Let's go. Are you gonna fight Zavid again? The time has come.
mochi bag, another ingredient for the Omega Elixir. All right, let's hurry and get this back to Videl. I'm not sure I've ever seen Luffy said so animated. He's just not one to give up easily. I honestly couldn't tell you where he gets it from. Really? Well, I think you and Luffy said are actually rather similar. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm completely serious. And to a dumb old demon like me, it doesn't seem like a bad thing. There's a Class 4 island that folks were too afraid to go near, even before the demons showed up. If there weren't any demons, what was so scary? Well, the guy who owned the island was a real lowlife. They say he'd take a bunch of lawbreakers out there and make them kill each other. Bien! Crimes are not, that's terrible! The seas near the island ran red with the blood of the convicts. Hell. You could even smell it in the air. Folks say that even now, on nights when the sea turns red under the light of the crimson moon, the prisoner's spirits return to the island. You ask me? I bet that those demons are reincarnations of the dead prisoners. If you go there, you'd best be careful. I'd rather just stay far, far away. I heard about some Abbey people who went to recon a Class 4 island and haven't come back. Oh? I wonder what's drawn their gaze. Well, recently, a fishing boat carrying demons washed up in the harbor and caused a real stir. The crew just probably caught demon blight, right? Well, about that. People found flowers on the ship that only bloom on that there Class 4 island. But even if the fishermen had gone near the island, they weren't the types who'd ever even consider setting foot on its shore. Could the demons have attacked the ship, then ridden it all the way to the harbor in search of more prey? The demons were wolfmen-looking guys. Certainly got the Abbey on alert. A whole bunch of intelligent demons is bad news. Wolfmen? An island of Therians? I'd say that place ranks sixth on the places where I'd least want to live. Wait, what the hell kinds of places are one through five? Bye. 
You're Lafayette, right? Yes. Who are you? I'm Videl's mom. He wanted me to give you this note. It's the fourth ingredient. What happened to Videl? He has a high fever and can't move right now. It's the terminal stage of the twelve-year sickness. It can't be. All the other kids in town avoid Videl because they're scared of the disease. But you chose to be his friend. I want to thank you for that. Videl always perks up when he talks about you. Miss Videl's mom, I know this is sudden, but can I borrow his book? If we can figure out the last ingredient, we can make medicine that'll cure him. I don't care what it takes. I'll decipher it myself, and that sounds like it could be really dangerous. I can't let Videl's friends put themselves at risk like that. Besides, I've already lent the book to someone else. I've been prepared for this day ever since I learned he had the twelve-year sickness. I'm sorry, Videl. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a healthy life. <laughs> What's the plan, Lafayette? Do you still intend to look for that last ingredient? Why bother? Time's short, and we're out of leads. I know it's sad, but there's nothing we can do. Videl was fated for this end from the start. Is there really nothing we can do? Don't feel guilty. None of this is your fault. You've been a good friend to him. Besides, the Omega Elixir is a fool's errand anyway. How could you say that? Jeez, Velvet. Even I'd have tried to soften that one. What's there to be gained from being less direct? Sure, it might hurt now, but in time, it will be just another memory. A sad memory you'll keep tucked away for when you need it. How can you talk like that? Fidel's still alive. And what about all of his research? The Omega Elixir is real. I'm sure of it. I'm, I'm not ready to give up. Then stop talking about it and keep on looking. You, you mean it? Once you've lost him, it'll be too late. No matter how sorry you feel. No matter how deeply you regret, regrets don't change into memories. They hang over you like a living nightmare. But you haven't lost your friend yet, or your hope. Yeah. Then hold on to it as tightly as you can. Okay. I'm going to find that fourth ingredient. Let's take another look at the clues in Videl's notes.
Finish this quickly. It looks like no one is injured. Exorcist. What's he doing here? That's... It's a world tree, Leaf. 
We need that for the Omega Elixir. You know of the Omega Elixir? You're no ordinary travelers. I think you can tell that just by looking at us. He seems wary of us. Should we take it by force? No, we'd be at a disadvantage. He looks strong. I could try talking to him. Wait, let me try. All right, Laffy. Do what you need to. Please, sir. May we have that? We need it badly. Sorry, kid. I've only this one. You're so... young. Do you really think you can make an Omega Elixir? I have a friend who's very sick. If there's anything I can do to save him, anything at all, I have to try. Did you already gather the other ingredients? No, we still don't know what the last one might be. But I'll find it. I swear I will. My friend is suffering too much. I refuse to give up on him. Take it. Are you certain? Don't you need this as well? I'm an exorcist. Talking to you? Well, we're supposed to put the needs of others ahead of our own. You think not of yourself. I would be a poor model were I to deprive you in your time of need. Thank you! By the way, young one, perhaps this will help your cause. I've been studying an old book, and it would seem that the final ingredient is a Moloch's prayers. Unfortunately, thanks to the Lord of Calamity, the Abbey's been losing a good number of Molochim. I've managed to be exceedingly lucky and mine is still okay, but... He will not give me his prayers, even when I command him to. Perhaps you will succeed. I have not faltered in my duties as an exorcist. The world must come before my family. I'm so sorry, Videl. <gasps> now that we know what the last ingredient is, there's just one thing left to do. Hey! I think that might have been Videl's dad. Well, now that you mention it, Videl did say that his dad was an exorcist. If he was the one who borrowed the book from Videl's mother, that would explain how he got here. Damn, though, that's cold. Doesn't that mean he was willing to give up on his son? How could he place more value in the Abbey's teachings than on his own son's life? I think... he made the rational decision. Remember, he felt that there was no way he could get the last ingredient for himself, so... Yeah, okay, sure, logic. Kids ain't logical. How do you think Fidel would have taken this? I'm sure he'd be terribly hurt. Look at it like this. That guy clearly went to a lot of trouble to decipher the book. He would have faced considerable dangers just to get here. Exorcists can't save the whole world. They have to live their lives conflicted like the rest of us. If everyone lived as selfishly as me, the world would be a wasteland. Velvet. I don't disagree, but he knew what he was doing. Am I dreaming this? Is Velvet actually defending an exorcist? Pinch me! I'm only stating the truth. Anyway, if we'd fought, it would have been to the death. Good thing this ended peacefully. Fee, I can't tell you what's right in this situation. But if Fidel does die, the sadness will be numbing. I can promise you that. Yeah, but I think even in sadness, hope can spring to life. As long as you keep living. Anyway, we've got everything we need. Let's get back to Videl's house and make the Omega Elixir. That exorcist said the last ingredient was a Moloch's prayers. That's all it is? We're in good shape then. We've got Laffy Said and Aizen and Bienfu. One of you can surely squeeze out a prayer or two, yeah? Oh, 
It's you, Lafayette. I'm sorry, but Fidel's already lost consciousness. But he's still alive, isn't he? Please, let me see him. Fidel, it's me, Lafayette. We have all of the ingredients for the Omega Elixir. I'll prove that your translations were correct, Videl. Just wait. Lavi... said... He's awake! No, he's just mumbling. That's all he's been saying this whole time. I'm sorry. Sorry, Lavi said. I'm sorry I, I told you to, to go away. I really wanted to talk to you. It's fine, really. That doesn't matter now. You're my friend. There's so much of the world you still need to see. You have to get better. So we can go on adventures together, okay? Huh? Is that... It's the Omega Elixir. So, it wasn't really a Moloch's prayers. It... was their tears. Sweetheart, you're home! I am. <laughs> but I have no right to be here at this point. I chose to do my duty as an exorcist over the welfare of my own dear family. I won't ask for forgiveness. This isn't something that can be forgiven. Dad? V Fidel, are you feeling okay? He's fine. A generous friend worked hard to prepare the Omega Elixir for him. The Omega Elixir? Wait, don't tell me your friend is... You helped him, right? I heard that it was you who told him what the final ingredient was. Thank you, Dad. No, son. You have no idea. I... I... Dad, it's okay. You protected the world in your own way. The one Mom and I live in. The one I want to explore when I get a little older. Son... All's well that ends well, hmm? Hard to believe we managed to actually make an Omega Elixir. That's one hell of an accomplishment. Oh, and here I was anticipating much wailing and gnashing of teeth. <laughs> Videl turned out to be pretty resilient, huh? Can't you just say good job like a normal person? You're no fun. You did good, kid. Thanks. But I might have given up if not for Velvet's encouragement. All I did was rile you up. I wouldn't call it encouragement. Not you too, Velvet. Anyway, that was a noble thing you did, Luffy said. You really held on to your hope all the way through. Yeah, I just didn't want to give up on Videl. But I don't really think it's worth praising. I haven't felt lost like you have, Velvet. If I had, I don't think I would have been so sure of myself. Perhaps. But I think you'll still have it in you. Even if you ever do lose something, dear. Huh? Why? That's just the feeling I get. Look, I'm tired of Eleanor's grumbling, so I thought I'd say something nice for once. Could you not make this my fault? <laughs>